we could start here. Yeah. Yeah, is that all right? Yeah, yeah. So do you want me to introduce myself and yeah, da, 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 da. Welcome to uh, Tees Valley Music Service, folks. Um, name's Alan Rutter. I'm the support service manager for the service. My role basically is to manage the backroom staff and everything else that goes on in the background. We have uh, nine people working in admin. Myself and Blair sat down there. Um, and there is um, two finance officers over in the other office. Uh, the, su the support service coordinator, which is Janice Fraser, and we have uh, for other part-time admin staff uh, and from that we manage everything to do with the room bookings, um, the finance things, everything to do with, with getting people registered onto the system and this side of it is where you are now is where we have the library and the instrument store so this is where everything is done to get things out to concerts, out to classrooms and just basically the day-to-day -day running of the service. In this area here, this is basically a breakout area for staff when they come and visit. So we've got lots and lots of music reference books, but shelves of the things here. So people can come in and have a look. And generally, if, if you've got some of the students out there who are doing um, some major music work and going in for some of the higher grades, then please come along and have a look and, and have a browse. So now we've moved into the library area, basically where myself and Blair work. And we've got our desks just sat to to that side. I'm Blair Stanbridge. I am the resource assistant. So what I do is I basically look after the instrument hire and the music uh, hire, of which we have a really extensive library. I repair music, I write missing parts out, um, I chase up people that have hired it and get it back. And same with the instruments. Any instruments that are going out to students generally go through me, make sure that student gets it and deliver it to the school and then um, same when they return it, I go and get it and bring it back. These shelves are all full of music. So we've got all the choral pieces, which is, runs from basically from B, if you can see the signs, all the way up to M, N, up to about N. So we've got 58,000 or so separate pieces of choir music in our library. And then it's from there on, it's the orchestral music, then it's the wind band music, brass band music, Christmas music, which there's lots of, and all the tutor books and things like that are all on, on the other side. Lots and lots of miniature scores, so if anybody's looking for miniature scores, we've got them here. And you just need to contact the service and contact the library and you can come in and have a look and see, see what we've got. The actual library itself is online, so you can go onto the website and have a look and see what we've got. Um, but if you're looking for something specific and you just want to have a chat, we're always happy to help. On this side, there's a little room here that used to be a toilet when we first moved in, but they've taken the toilet out and it's now a storeroom. So in there we keep all of our woodwind instruments basically, so the, the ones are within the building. So we've got the clarinets, the flutes, the oboes, some of the saxophones, bass clarinets, that type of thing in, in that one room there. Towards the back end of the room now and, and you're into where we store a lot of the instruments. So. On this side, we've got all the brass, in, lots of brass instruments. So we've got trumpets, cornets, pocket trumpets, some of the stringed instruments, which is the cellos, small double basses, and we've got shelving on this side, which has got more brass instruments, such as trombones, French horns, tenor horns, uh, violins, violas, and beyond that, the two rooms there are both our workshops. I just tied it that up. This is the um, string workshop and we have a wonderful chap called Sean Galvin who comes in and does all our strings. Fully qualified luther, so he repairs and, and makes instruments actually. So, you know, Sean's a good pair of hands and he comes in once a week to do all our string repairs. Such as, at the moment, we're looking to gather 30 guitars to go out to a school next week. Some of them need repairing, so they're in the workshops now, and believe it or not, even something like that, with a broken headstock, can be repaired. And Sean will come in and do them sort of repairs. We do all the servicing of all the, all the violins and violas and cellos. Any stringed instrument is serviced in this room and brought back to life and pushed back out into the schools. 
the nature of the beast is, you know, instruments do get damaged, do get, and they do need service on a regular basis. And um, we're quite happy to take them in. You can see we've got a good, good full head of work in here going on at the moment. It, it never stops, to be honest. We went on sending instruments out, and then I, I sometimes managed to get there for their final concerts and listen to them and think, well, those kids have done really well. And you, you see basically concerts where my music's been gone out and been hired and, and all of a sudden all this music's come alive. So it's really, really good. That's the part I enjoy. Right, so we've moved into our final room on this side, which is um, where we do all the brass and woodwind repairs. So any of the brass instruments that need repairing and servicing all come into here. Currently got a trumpet on the bench at the moment. So just doing a bit of a strip down, a bit of a clean of all, all the slides, all the, all the valves and re and things like that. And we would be doing any of the soldering repairs that need doing to any of the brass instruments. It's all done in here. Um, and so also with the woodwind, we bring them in and I've got banks of them on down there ready to do. So the work never stops. It's continual, it's ongoing. We've got the teachers, we've got the venues, we've got the groups. Quite honestly, the, the price is really good. Um, I've been places where you pay a lot more to get music lessons. If you're hiring an instrument from us, um, part of that hire includes any of the repairs and servicing that we need to do. Other than if something's been you know, maliciously damaged, then we do look to recover the costs on that. But generally, um, everything that you, your, your instruments that you hire are serviced by ourselves and it's part of your, part of your ongoing hire fees. <laughs>